episode of Call of Duty World War 2. So, today in this video, we are... Quicker, you can go home. Okay, uh, you can just not talk for a minute. Okay, so today we are going to uh, focus on tips and tricks for the game mode War. I've n I know I've gone over it a little bit in some other videos, but I really wanted to focus it on this video and uh, just kind of nail it, uh, nail it down, get it good, and uh, maybe, you know, um, hopefully, and the idea is to kind of help you guys out if you guys are new playing War, or uh, t to me it's a new game mode, I think it is a new game mode, uh, I don't know if it is for sure, um, but, first I gotta go over here and check out my mail, my payroll, okay, uh, and then, now we're going to go into um, my classes. So, these are my classes, my new class setups. I know I've gone over it just briefly, but I really want to um, kind of show you guys what's going down and what my idea is um, while I set up my classes. So, first off, I highly recommend you guys pick a sub machine gun. Okay, doesn't matter if it's for your mountain class or maybe you might want an armored guy that's actually uh, a rifle, wink wink. And then, like any class, it doesn't really matter. You can pick a sub machine gun or any gun that suits you. The gun, okay, uh, this is my airborne class. Um, just when I want to move faster or run for a lot longer. This is the class that I use. Okay, um, first off guys, the gun is really whatever you want to pick. Uh, the Type 100 is kind of a gun that I've been using, so I might pick that one. And uh, so far I've been using these two here. Um, you know, the MP40 or uh, the M1928. Uh, either one's great. Uh, whatever gun really suits you. The grease gun I was running for a while at the beginning and then I kind of switched over to the Type 100 eventually. But any gun, like I said, is uh, just pretty much whatever gun suits you. Up, though, uh, I think you have to run the full metal jacket. Um, just great for shooting through uh, entire buildings. Uh, and will help you capture uh, certain objectives and all that stuff. Uh, and then pretty much from there on out is whatever you want. Now, I also will recommend the Mountain uh, Division. The reason I like the Mountain Division, and you can run a sniper if you want uh, without the Mountain Division. Uh, I did it on my Airborne class. I wasn't happy with it. Um, actually, one thing I do want to make sure is you guys aren't using certain perks um, in the ribbons area. So the first perk you want to avoid is this perk right here. It does absolutely nothing in uh, war. Uh, war, you don't get any kill streaks. I ran it for a little bit and then realized I wasn't getting any kill streaks, and then that's and then I actually watched the video and then it. Uh, you don't get any kill streaks. So this perk here, and then um, yes, this guy right here. These two, you don't want to run uh, ever. Uh, now any perk is fine, just whatever you want to run. Um, I like to run hustle. Um, I've been running Rifleman because, like I said, the Sniper is great. Uh, one thing I do want to try out, and this is just kind of a trial and I haven't actually done it, I'm going to go try some Rifleman on this guy, and then um, I'm actually going to try, where is it, right here, I'm going to try the M1 Grand, and then I'm going to put this guy on the M1 Grand, I kind of like that. Um, so. First off, I recommend you guys use a submachine gun. Whatever one you guys want to use, it's all up to you. And then, 
a uh, full metal jacket I uh, will recommend that as well and then sights and whatever that's all up to you as well uh, anything really is uh, is great um, and then maybe you guys also might want to run a long range st style of a gun something that's going to have more range than a submachine gun. Submachine gun is not great on range, but it's great close quarters and all that stuff. And there's a lot of close quarters in war, uh, so you might want to run a uh, some sort of long rifle gun. And that's why I like to run mountain on, um, or that's why I just like to run mountain class. Uh, again with the submachine gun for the first primary and then I run a sniper so if you don't know this class or uh, division allows you to hold your breath okay also my next when I level this up to level four it will give me silent movement um, yeah I don't know how great that is in war but holding your breath while using a sniper rifle I tried it without using uh, this division and it was not as great so you know I mean it may help you it may not help you um, I do believe it has to be a sniper rifle class so as you can see in the top RB and LB bumpers uh, sniper rifle class I don't think it works and it should not work for rifle or any other class so or any other gun it does have to be a sniper rifle and then another thing I want you guys to note is grenades and smoke grenades um, sometimes I switch I used to run the S mine 44 um, for a while when I was running a shotgun I would run that uh, I run it most likely on defense I also don't really run a grenade on defense uh, yeah, defense I will run a grenade, um, but while I'm attacking, I like to run either a grenade or a smoke. The thing about this is, um, when I have a smoke, I wish I have a grenade. If I have a grenade, I wish I had a smoke. Uh, this smoke gas grenade is completely worthless. Don't even bother it. Or, yes, uh, don't even bother with this. This is actually kind of good. I haven't really ran with this um, that much. And then the signal flare. I I want to try it out. I don't know how great it will how great it will uh, work, how well it would work. But you can try it out if you want. I mean, uh, I I stick with either some sort of smoke grenade this smoke grenade or some sort of grenade. Uh, I've been running these for just a little bit. Um, so these are my two main classes. If I'm attacking, I'm using this. If I want a grenade, I use this class. Um, like I said, the uh, this rifle, I don't really, I just actually put it, in, put this rifle on. I've been meaning to put a long, uh, long range style of a rifle on uh, and then this is my second class if I want to run a smoke I use this class here like I said again the submachine gun is all up to you but I highly recommend you use a submachine gun or really any sort of machine gun will work uh, if you're a light machine gun guy you know I mean uh, of course, the MG42 would probably be the one I would use if I had it. Um, the next class, or the next deal I like, this guy is, um, this, uh, dude, this division, um, I really like a lot. Um, I would set it up similar to my airborne class or my mountain class, um, Either way would work, but the reason why I like this one a lot is this reason right here. This is the only reason why I would ever run 
this. Maybe any other perks that you might get with this guy. So right now, right now he's level four, so he gets, you know, special equipment and all that stuff. So this is the reason why I run this class. I haven't really found a good reason for a light machine gun uh, in war, although maybe you could. I just, I just don't like it, especially this. Uh, Actually, this is light machine gun. I I just don't like it. I don't know, just not my not my style. Uh, and really, I order ought to run yeah order uh, run the 1911 with this one uh, instead. Or maybe instead, I should probably run maybe rifleman. Um, that way, I can run maybe um, maybe. Machine gun might work here better than a pistol or a shovel or something. Or maybe, actually, maybe I might run something like uh, the launcher so I can have a bazooka or a rocket launcher. And I don't have any camos or anything for that. Um, and then I can give a signal flare a try with this. Um, the reason why I like this though is because I can have a lethal nade, okay? So I was running with the mine um, on this class and then I wanted to try the charge, satchel charge, and then the signal flare I haven't actually used. Um, I normally like to run the smoke. Like I said, if I have a grenade, I wish I had a smoke. If I had a smoke, I wish I had a grenade. This class, this division actually allows me to have both. So these are just some of the ideas maybe you might want to run uh, while playing war. These are, like, I, I'm playing war so much now, I just made all my classes very specific to war. Uh, you might want to, like, if you have a very specific class that you like to run while playing uh, Team Deathmatch, and you want to try it out for war, maybe it won't work. These classes hopefully may help you. So. With all that nonsense and jibble jabble out of the way, let's play a um, an actual match. And looking, so I might actually run into a shotgun real quick, so I can finish those two orders. Uh, another thing I want to tell you guys about war is don't worry about um, don't worry about not changing the class classes. I change my classes depending on the map, the situation that I'm in. If I want a sniper, like I said, I may run this class here. Um, or if I want a close quarter, I might run like a shotgun on this class. So this dude here, I might switch to a shotgun. Um, combat shotgun. Just go with that. Uh, I think it's the best shotgun in the game. Uh, it doesn't really matter for those. Whatever. Okay, let's go. So, let's get into... Now I can run... So now I can finish these two orders, which is another great way to level up. And then I look for 45 kills, which actually is doable. It is so doable in war. And I also have to get three headshots in any game mode. Okay, see if I can get that before it finishes. Uh, public match war. So war. I don't know if you guys notice, and I don't think it's double XP weekend anymore. I think it's turned off. But during the double XP weekend, I played. I played some TDM. I played some free fall. I played domination. I play capture the flag. I played just about every single game mode there was, and I barely leveled up. And I didn't even uh, actually no, I didn't level up at all. I got some XP, but not enough to level up. And I was playing quite a bit of matches. Then I came back and I played war, and I leveled up from 40 to where I am now in just I don't even know maybe a single night. And, uh, I don't know about you, 
but when I hit about level 55, um, uh, which map am I on? Let's just start with this guy. Clear the single and capture the cliff bunkers. Uh, boom, boom. And capture see, no, the bunkers. Really, uh, We're taking the enemy bunker. We're taking the bunker. Uh, We're taking the enemy bunker. People were just chatting in pub servers and all that stuff. Actually, I want to change this class. So, one thing, one tip I want to throw out to you guys. If you guys are playing war, and you guys want the most amount of XP, and everything like this, or all that fun stuff, this is not the gun that I want. I should actually put this in my primary, and then put some sights on it because I can't see anything. I bet there's a guy. Mm. But anyways, back to the the war uh, tips and tricks. Right guys? Okay. I got him. Okay. So uh, anyways Back to what I was saying. War tips and tricks. You want the most amount of kills. If you want the most amount of XP, you want to play for the longest amount of time. You are going to allow the attacking team to kind of push on you guys just a little bit. So they can get through the rounds and so you guys can play longer. Longer you play, more XP you get. Longer, or actually I don't know if that's true, but longer you get, more kills you get. Uh, and I know for a fact that could be true, or, let me say this, longer, Started this one late too. Um, I can I can give a shotgun a try. Our enemy is upon us. They will attack with overwhelming force, but I must not prevail. You will hold this beach.
Defend the bankers! The bots running up and down the, the beach. The they don't count for kills. And... Um... We can just waste your time. So the ideal thing to do... Push them back! Hold your ground! Enemy is to kind of work to with the... the attacking team. Oh, that's my guy. And... or the other team. And the say, hey, we'll allow you to win the first thing. They are taking our bunker! Our bunker has first fallen. couple Protect matches or bunker. whatever. So in war, there's there's three different uh, there's three different um, sections, I guess. And since there's three different sections in war, I mean there's. I have no idea what I'm talking about, guys. To be completely honest, I can't. I can't uh, come up with a good um, tips and tricks video and do live commentary at the same time and focus on trying to play good. Oh, so I'm kind of just rambling on. Sometimes I don't get this shotgun at all. Sometimes you kill him point blank, sometimes you kill him across the map, sometimes you just can't kill him like that guy, you should probably go out. So right, okay, so there's three minutes left. So, absolutely push on. Get here. Actually, if they were smarter, and I mean they oh, captured it so around the perfect time, but they could allow that to go at least another 30 seconds, they would have been able to have the chance to um, get more kills, which is the whole idea in Call of Duty, right? More kills means better chance to get camo for your guns, it means just about anything that you want. Pretty much. That's how it works, right? This one actually for me is a really difficult one to defend.
Send the communications equipment! If I didn't start to reload my gun, maybe I would have had a chance. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. One minute left. Okay, so if we were smart and if they were at all any good, they would destroy actually destroy this and we would allow them. Defend this position. Sorry, dude. I had to. Our equipment is being destroyed! 30 seconds left! Sometimes it's point blank, sometimes it's far, sometimes you can't get headshots with it. And I I mean it's it's okay, it's just not great. So I don't, oh, I still have to use a shotgun, never mind. I only have to get a few more kills, and then I didn't get this. So now I got to go over here real fast. Actually, let's stop here first. Hello, sir. Looks like your luck's holding up. Check some of these out. Headshot kills. Any game mode, 20 minutes. Shouldn't be that difficult, but... Well. Four and three headshots. 
Nice pickup. I hope this one actually means, and that's only 10 minutes on that, so that's not diddle daddly around. You challenge yourself every day. That's commendable. Two more. Actually, that one is actually more doable right now. So let's jump in and uh, find a match of a war. And unless my chair squeaks. This map is not bad. Operation Breakout. 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 This one. Uh, so the first little section you have to uh, defend or take over that little first house submachine gun shotguns all day long the second section though you have to build a bridge building a bridge uh, I recommend using a smoke that's why I think in this or in this game mode uh, is like superior um, I had a team that ran a smoke, and um, I'm gonna actually pick a shotgun because I have to get a couple more shotgun kills. Defend the command post and the classified yeah, my squeaking. Actually, it's not squeaking; it's more popping. They're taking the command post. So this is the house that I was talking about when you want to use FMJ. Uh, Don't let them overrun the, the command bottom post. section of the window, They're you can absolutely shoot through that. The enemy captured our command post, but the battle isn't over yet. Stop the enemy from rebuilding the bridge we destroyed. If they succeed, their tank will advance. I was gonna die here. So now, now I want to run. Uh, I want to run Keep a sniper. the enemy from building the bridge. So if you're running a sniper, which I'm not right now. That's okay, I need a sniper anyways. So if you're running a sniper, as soon as I can respawn this building... Hold on, let me get to my spot. This building here is really good. The enemy is building a bridge. Stop the enemy from building that bridge! is being built. Can't really see anything. Don't let the enemy build their bridge. Also the second building for the sniper. I'm just gonna sit right here. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. So also as an attacker, if you guys were any at all decent or smart in this, which I know you, some of you guys might be, um, you don't the want to is being built. finish through each sector in like a second. Enemies on the bridge! The enemy built their bridge, but keep fighting. Reinforcements are on the way. Defend the ammunition supply. If it's destroyed, we lose the ammo for our flag guns. Didn't make it over. I saw a guy uh, 
on some video get full Take the ammunition supply. Not 40. 80 kills on this in war. So you can absolutely get it. A tip for this sector right here, keep these open. You want that to be open, you want it open so you can run in and stop it. Can I actually run through this way? Oh, that's not cool. Turned on like that? Mm -hmm. A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply. Reinforcements are coming to protect the ammo supply. Disarm the bomb. Deactivate the bomb. The bomb must be disarmed. Our reinforcements get here. Like I said, time is your friend on this one. If you want to most amount of kills, you would not do the objective until the last just a minute. The enemies have destroyed our ammo supply, but the battle is far from over. Keep the enemy from escorting their tank within range of our flat guns. The tank is retreating. It's the ammo down! Airdrop incoming! Their tank is pulling back! Kill the soldiers around that tank! The enemy tank is advancing! So, another tip in war that I want to throw at you guys is you guys will see a line on the floor at some point in your match. Don't cross that line because any good players would know where you're at. Also, you will eventually die. Remember when. Um, actually, I want. Um, remember when I died when I didn't get to my area? I do. I do think that um, they also knew where I was. This is a good spot to sit right here. Keep them from destroying the flag guns. The tank is backing up. Retreating. Okay. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. The tank is on the move. Pulling back. Ammo the infantry near that tank. I forgot I actually had this gun. The tank is backing up. I'm not even going, going out. So, one thing I want to mention right now is notice that I'm not going out to get those kills, not running to my death, not getting my kills. I see that the tank is um, not where it should be. And I see that they're not, um, and they won. Okay, so what I want to say is if you see the tank 
um, not really going anywhere. You don't really have to run to your death. Just sit back and wait, relax. Um, try to get the kills, maybe. Um, and you can really do some serious damage by not doing anything. Uh, just wait for them. Okay? It's really not that difficult. Um, if you see your, one of your teammates, if you see one of your teammates kind of sit back, getting sniper kills, maybe getting one or two kills, but not really pushing the front line, but the tank is kind of coming and creeping, he's essentially not doing anything to help you win. Okay, it's flat out just that simple. Capture that command post to get intel on craft defenses. tip for attacking, watch out for down there. They can actually cross up to here. A lot of veteran war players will know that this is their line. I also shouldn't. Taking the command post. Take that command post. game mode can get you a lot of kills. The other day, I got 47 kills in overall. Two minutes until enemy reinforcements arrive. Playing the time in this game mode can get you a whopping amount of kills. So, tip, real fast, if you want to a lot of kills in this game mode, or just a lot of kills, maybe you want to level up your guns. Attacking the command post! We need that command post! Same one grand. A whole lot, actually. So we can advance. Building the bridge!
use smoke on the bridge. Some people may not uh, say that or recommend it at all. However, when you get completely steamrolled in like a couple seconds, I think it might help. On the road. <laughs> ASAP! Building the bridge! Bridge in progress! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was right in the neck, too. I think I should that. I wanted to kind of pop up like that. So right about now should be the time that the enemy team should allow us the victory on this section. Yeah, they should just stop. I'm not gonna get it. Not even close. If they were smart, they would allow us to get. Um, they they would allow us to kind of just push that bridge, play the last two sections. Actually, I think this is the only map that may have four little parts uh, to it. So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is you kind of want the the other side to kind of do what they need to do. Okay. Well, mm, let me rephrase that. You kind of want the attackers, if defensive, you want the attacking team to do what they need to do. If they can get done what they need to do, you play the match longer longer you play, the best chance you have for a lot of kills, right? In theory, that is, right? Um, let me see what's going on. Okay. Did I get any orders completed? I did. So now I have a drop. Let's check out this drop. I don't have a drop. I thought that one gave me a drop. Never mind. Give me some XP bonus and all that stuff. Hello, sir. Another one for Looks me. Looks like your luck's holding up. guys so I'm going to end it here um, for you guys for today um, it wasn't the exact video that I wanted to get out for you guys but I did cover the main um, the main portion of what I wanted to cover uh, I went over the classes I kind of gave some tips and tricks while playing war use your smokes to your advantage okay um, don't 
be afraid to um, switch out your classes um, out through the entire, um, I, uh, I guess, the match. Um, and another tip I want to give you guys is don't run to your death. Okay, there's a lot of times where you don't need to push and you can kind of back, kind of feel things out and then um, then push and then really push. The things that just make me go off the edge a lot of times is while I'm defending, I see the tank, okay, most of the time it's when there's a uh, escorting, they're escorting the tank. When I see my teammates just kind of sitting back and sniping and like the only way that you're going to stop that tank is number one you take out the enemies nearby and number two you stand near that tank if you stand near that tank and there's an enemy near that tank it's not going to move okay it's kind of like capturing uh, a base or something if two people are in the base one enemy in um, it's you and an, another enemy uh, he's not going to um, have any more progress so it's just going to stun his progress if you have the entire team kind of just kind of sitting back shooting and getting kills further back if I'm sitting behind the tank and you guys are just killing all the people behind me and you're not killing me the tank's going to continue moving forwards. That's how it works. Another thing you will see in war is, uh, or in the game mode, game mode war is people spamming grenades. Spam grenades near the tank gets you kills. Okay. Also, another thing you can do to stop the tank is uh, not only kill the guys um, behind the tank, but a great tip for that is. If you have shotgun, submachine gun, or something, or some sort of gun, uh, you can jump behind the tank, blast a couple guys, get three or four uh, kills, and move on with your day. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to end it here for you guys. Uh, a bit of a long video, kind of a different video for me to make. Um, if you guys like it, don't forget to hit that little like button, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And down in the comments down below, type out whatever you want to type out, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Goodbye!